Shut the enemy down. Double down. Triple down. Yo, what is going on Guardians and welcome back to another Destiny 2 gameplay video. Hey, in this video I'm excited to talk about the Outbreak Perfected. That's right, the new Exotic Pulse, well new Exotic Pulse, I guess technically it is sort of new. Since it's not new, well okay, because so lore wise it's changed. It's not the Outbreak Prime anymore, this is the Outbreak Perfected. The Cryptarchs found a way to basically cleanse uh, the weapon so it's no longer necessarily siva infected but anyways it's basically the outbreak prime so outbreak perfected we got this new quest right and it is it's freaking awesome it's like the the new whisper quest sort of a similar idea i don't know what you call it it's not necessarily a dungeon but but it's basically like the whisper quest where you have this sort of this time limit right and you got to make your way through the old tower from top and then you're diving down into it it's really freaking sweet and eventually you have to do a bunch of jumping puzzles and then fight a boss fight and i like this boss fight because it's not the same as the whisper boss the whisper boss you basically the strategy was to sit back and just snipe just sit way back in your little cave of safety and snipe the bosses and uh that was a little bit lame to me at the end but this boss fight is a lot different it's got some mechanics to it and uh, you're definitely moving around the whole time. So I like the way that it's designed. Anyways, so talking about the gun itself, it is a 450 uh, RPM lightweight pulse rifle. Think of something like a battle scar. It's, it's like a battle scar. And uh, it has the SIVA nanites that when you get rapid hits or you know headshot kills, you leave these uh, nanites behind that will do damage to anything nearby. It's sort of like a lingering firefly, right? And uh, there's also a catalyst for this. There's an exotic catalyst. Now, you can't complete it yet, but you can get the catalyst from the heroic version of the uh, Outbreak Perfected quest. And uh, it's apparently going to do more nanite damage, have more nanites left behind, uh, in the wake of your kills, so it sounds like it's a no-brainer. You're gonna want to, you're gonna want to get that. Now this thing is a absolute laser beam in PvP. Well, anywhere, but in PvP, it's a laser beam. The stability stat on this is surprisingly low, but I, I don't know if it's a bug or if it's, I, I have no idea. But it's not correct. It is very, very stable. Now it has a slight northwest at, uh, pull. It recoils a little bit up and to the left. So keep that in mind, bear that in mind when you are taking shots at people. You're going to want to try and basically aim for, when you're looking at them, the right shoulder. That's where I put my reticle if I can help it, if I have time to line up the shot. And then as I hold the reticle there and I keep pulling the trigger, it's, it's just going to register three headshots. Brap, 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 and they're dead. <laughs> it is nasty. Now, the range on it is also superb. Now, I am lasering people from pretty freaking far away like blast furnace range right and uh, it's it's not quite blast furnace range i mean I, I probably wouldn't be mapping people on equinox but on almost every map you are going to be completely fine in the longer lanes with the outbreak perfected the range is nasty and you can see that represented here pretty accurately in the gameplay uh, both on legion's gulch and on endless veil vale. there's some moments where i i basically just lock down a lane with this pulse rifle and I just get kill after kill after kill after kill just line them up and knock them down it is nasty now because of the nanites that are left behind sort of a like a firefly uh, effect I thought you know this would probably pair pretty well with chromatic fire and sure enough I started using chromatic fire with this thing and I'm getting I mean like triple kills sometimes just one headshot kill and then the nanites and the explosion, just like, brah, brah, you know, just extra damage. And it's nasty. It's so good for crowd control. And that's really what I went with with my build was all crowd control. So between the Outbreak Perfected, the Chromatic Fire, and the Arc Web Grenades on Stormcaller, it was basically just crowd control center. I loved it, playing this build. So lots of multi-kills, lots of getting myself out of sticky situations where I'm outnumbered. Uh, because of all the lingering damage over time I'm doing with the explosions and the nanites and the arc webbing. It was so nice. Now, you're going to be consistently three bursting people 
if you're lining up your shots correctly with this thing and you can just fire it at its at its optimum rate of fire and uh, you're not going to struggle because of the stability on this thing is so nice the stability is so nice and i haven't been hit by it a lot i've gone up against uh you know several of these um, outbreak perfecteds in crucible but i haven't played it against it enough to really gauge what the flinch is like on the receiving end but it feels like when i get the first shot with this thing people are struggling to land their shots back and so that feels really nice sorry about the doorbell and the barking there uber eats showed up with my b-dubs wings and beer let's go anyways um that's neither here nor there i think we were talking about flinch yeah it feels like it makes people flinch pretty consistently and makes it difficult for them to return fire absolutely love this thing the big question though is is this gonna be a meta weapon is it gonna be something that you're gonna see over and over and over and over and over again match after match after match after match um i don't want to be too hasty here um because when new weapons like this come out sometimes we see things through rose tinted glasses sometimes we get sort of a uh, an experience that isn't 100 accurate too because we're playing against a lot of the same things right and right now i'm playing against a lot of outbreak primes but i'm not really or outbreak perfectness but i'm not really running into a ton of like not forgotten and stuff like that um so i'm i'm really not too sure if i would say it's meta i think we need more time to flush that out my prediction is that you're going to see a ton of this weapon this week and next week you're going to see a ton of it this week and, and next week because everyone's obsessing over it right they want to get their hands on it they want to go try it out in pvp they hear it's really good so they want to play with it and it is really good but my prediction is that the usage of it is going to taper off a little bit not a ton but i think it's going to taper off a little bit and i think it'll fall somewhere in the top 10 uh kinetic weapons i think you're going to see it in the top 10 kinetic weapons that are used in the crucible so I don't know if that's necessarily meta, but I think it definitely can uh, hang with the meta. And I'd love to see how this uh, holds up over time, especially once uh, we get this catalyst completed. We start seeing master worked uh, outbreak perfected. I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. So most obvious pairings for this weapon, I would say you're going to be using it with something like a Mindbender or Retold Tail, the Recluse and the Aaron Till. I think those are your top four choices. Uh, for pairings so obviously you're free to do whatever you want but i think uh with the range that this thing has most people are going to fall into those four weapons more than anything else but anyways just my thoughts uh hopefully you enjoyed the gameplay i'm gonna let the reel keep on rolling and you can uh see the gun in action hear the audio cues hear the audio cues when you get a headshot kill because it's the same audio of you know like genesis chain back in the day when you got a kill with a genesis chain you hear that i don't know what i would call it, almost like a a metal guitar squeal like you know what i'm saying that was terrible anyways hopefully you enjoy the gameplay listen to it watch it like it thanks for tuning in i appreciate y'all very very much i kept you in the crucible now you're fighting with heart guardian double down you're in the lead Oh, wow. 